What is up guys, Tech James here. One of the biggest questions that I actually get on this channel is how to play PlayStation 2 games on the PS Vita. And now many of you experienced users know it's just not possible. There's no chance you can really emulate PlayStation 2 games on the PS Vita. However, in my last upload, I did actually talk about a PS2 ELF file, which was able to be run on the PS Vita. So if you guys want to check that out, they do kind of say in the post that it's a PS2 emulator, but it's kind of just like an ELF file running. So it's not really an emulator, but it is still pretty cool. And it is a massive step um, in the right direction of actually getting PS2 games on the PS Vita. However, there is something official which Sony do, and they call it uh, PS2 Classics, I guess. I'm just over on the Sony website right now and it basically shows you all of the classic games. So as you can see we've got Mega Man Legends here. This one works on PS1, PS3, PSP, you guys get the idea. But there are several PS2 games that were remastered for the PS Vita. And in this video I'm going to be showing you guys all of those games. Um, because if you guys didn't know, you can't really find them that well on the website. So what I've done is I've done a bit of research and I've managed to find all of these kind of like PS2 games which you can actually play on the PlayStation Vita. Okay guys, so here are all of the games. Now the weird thing is the PlayStation Store doesn't even say some of these run on the PS Vita. Which is actually really strange because I checked out PKGJ and these games were all on there. So you can definitely get these PS2 remasters on the PS Vita. Um, it's just Sony didn't really promote them much, I guess. But let's just take a look at all of them anyway. So the first one I've got on the list is the Sly Cooper Collection. This involves all of the free PlayStation 2 games remastered for the PS Vita and they do perform very well. The next one is the Jack and Daxter Collection. Now I will be showing you guys some gameplay of this one in the video. This one has three full games from the PlayStation 2 um, digitally remastered for the PlayStation Vita. We've also got God of War and um, this has two full games on it the PS2 version and um, again you can play these on the PS Vita. I'm also going to include some gameplay from this in the video. Keep in mind this game does have a few lag spikes so with all of these remastered games even though they're official I would recommend having some kind of like overclock plugin just so they run 100% smooth. Um, we've also got Ratchet and Clank again this is free games so it's pretty good. A lot of these do actually include multiple games so it's not just one and um, which obviously equals more games um, from the PS2 over on the PS Vita. We've got the Metal Gear Solid HD collection. We've got Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3 in here. Final Fantasy, very popular. And um, this comes with X and X2. And then the last one, we have got Persona 4 Golden, which is probably one of the best PS2 games, which was actually created, like remastered for the PS Vita. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go onto my PS Vita, just in case you guys are curious to see how these games actually perform. Um, I'd say um, they are a bit slow, but as long as you've got some kind of overclock plugin, they should actually be pretty good. So here we are on my PS Vita, so we can test out a couple of these PlayStation 2 remastered games. Now these games are fairly playable, I'm going to talk about the FPS issues in a minute, but let's just go and start up Ratchet and Clank first, and then we'll play God of War second. So here is Ratchet and Clank Collection, this features I think all of the PlayStation 2 Ratchet and Clank games in one PS Vita VPK, um, so you guys can get this game off the Play Store, or pretty much wherever you want really. So yeah, let's start it up, let's test out some gameplay, I have played this one before and it seemed to be okay. I didn't really notice any FPS issues or anything like that, uh, but most of the gameplay was pretty good. So let me show you. We've got Ratchet and Clank on here. We've got Ratchet and Clank going commando. We've got Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. And then we've got um, the credits. So yeah, the credits isn't that exciting. But you know, we've got three PlayStation 2 games on here. Let's play the original one. And um, yeah, it does perform pretty well, which I will show you guys in a minute. Um, it says network features might be disabled. Of course, you can get plugins to, you know, kind of edit that glitch. And of course, if these games aren't exactly performing their best, you can use overclock plugins on your PS Vita. If you guys are interested in those, I have videos about those on my channel. So let's us select a save data. Let's just choose this one. And then we can actually go and test out some quick gameplay. 
So it has the cutscenes and everything like that, just as you, you know, play it on your PlayStation 2. I'm probably going to skip this just for the video. Um, but yeah, let's get into the quick gameplay. I'm not, obviously not going to play the entire game because that's just boring. I just want to give you guys kind of a view of what PlayStation 2 games would be like on the PS Vita. Of course, there are plenty of PlayStation 2 games which we never get to play on the Vita. You know, like Simpsons Hit and Run, um, you know, some other classics like that. Um, but we still get to play some decent games like this. So this is pretty much what it looks like, um, obviously the gameplay is as it would on the PS2, um, you know you can fight these monsters and stuff like that, and um, yeah, not really a bad game at all. So FPS performance programs are quite useful um, on the PS Vita, well they're actually plugins, you can install them very quickly. Um, they are useful because sometimes these remastered games do have quite big FPS drops, I think it's just because they're PS2 games, you know, kind of ported over. Um, but yeah, other than that, they do run pretty well. I'm going to show you guys God of War in a minute after just, you know, a few seconds of gameplay. Um, God of War is a bit harder to run than this, I'm not going to lie, and um, this one is very playable. You can literally play the whole game and be happy, and that's all three Ratchet and Clank games that are actually on this trilogy. Hopefully they bring up more trilogies. I'm saying hopefully they probably won't. Uh, but we're going to go and play God of War in a second then. I'll show you guys what that's like. Okay, so it's time to play the God of War collection. You guys might have noticed most of these games are called like collection games. So let's go and start up God of War. And um, this one is slightly harder to run. Um, you do notice um, FPS lag on this. I don't know why um, it's this, not Ratchet and Clank, because that one does look um, just visually a lot better. Uh, but this one does have some quite big FPS drops, which I will show you guys. But of course, that can be fixed with an... Uh, FPS increase a plugin. But of course these drops can be fixed. Now I don't think I've ever played God of War 2, so I guess we could launch that up for this video and see what it's like. Uh, the FPS issues were on God of War 1. If there's none on God of War 2, obviously I'll launch that up after this. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a demo of these games. So as well, just like the real PS2 game, it does of course have the cutscenes. Now the FPS issues are mainly on God of War 2. Um, that is why I decided to launch that for this video. Um, but yeah, it's um, kind of weird. The audio doesn't really glitch. It's kind of just the gameplay. Uh, but let me just get into some gameplay just so I can kind of explain to you guys and show you guys exactly what I mean. So here we are, guys. Finally, we're going to test out some gameplay. Um, so you never know. It might not lag in this video. Um, but you guys can see, I guess, kind of right now, it's just not... It's just not 100% smooth, especially when I go through the door and um, kind of like, you know, fight the other characters. It's not just not 30 FPS really, it's slightly lower. I did do a video where I tested the FPS on this before, and if I can remember correctly, it was around 17 to 23 um, FPS. I don't actually have an FPS counter installed, I probably should have installed one. Um, but yeah, this is kind of what it's like. I mean, definitely playable, and the sound is always fine, uh, but you do get kind of, you know, just little FPS drops, and because it's not at that 30 FPS, it's just not perfect. So I remember the last time I went through this door and the FPS was pretty low and I can kind of notice it a bit. Uh, but yeah, the gameplay itself is not really too bad. So there you go guys, that is PlayStation 2 games on the PS Vita. One of the questions I get the most, when is the PS2 emulator coming out? Guys, it's not. They are very hard to run PS2 games on the PS Vita. And if you're wondering why these games work fine, it's because they've been remastered and especially made for the PS Vita. There is no way you can grab a PS2 ISO and run it on the PS Vita without any problems if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next tutorial